This brief presentation will provide an overview of the Connecticut Paid Leave Program as it applies to foster families. What is Connecticut Paid Leave and how does it work? Governor Lamont signed an Act Concerning Paid Family and Medical Leave into law in 2019. It creates a source of income replacement benefits for eligible workers who need to take time away from work for qualifying health or family reasons. Here's how the program works. Most employers with one or more workers in Connecticut are covered by Connecticut paid leave, meaning their employees are covered employees. Covered employees contribute to the program through a small payroll deduction of one half of 1%. When a worker needs time away from work for a qualifying reason, they should apply to their employer for job protected leave under FMLA or the Family and Medical Leave Act, and they can apply to Connecticut paid leave for income replacement benefits while they are away from work on leave. What makes a worker eligible for Connecticut paid leave? First, they either work for a covered employer or they had worked for a covered employer within the 12 weeks immediately preceding their leave. Most workers with one or more people working in Connecticut are covered, but there are a few exceptions, including municipalities and boards of education unionized workers of the state of Connecticut, the governments of other states, the federal government, and railroads. Second, the worker must meet the minimum earnings requirement. That specifies that they have earned at least $2,325 in the highest earning quarter of the past four of the five most recently completed quarters. These earnings can come from full-time, part-time, per diem, or seasonal employment, and earnings from multiple covered employers may be combined. To put this in perspective, an individual who works part-time roughly 12 hours per week at minimum wage would hit the 2325 within the quarter. And third, the person is experiencing a qualifying reason for leave. Bonding with a foster child that has been placed into the home is one of these qualifying reasons. Now, Connecticut paid leave is not the same thing as Connecticut FMLA, but both are important. FMLA, or the Family and Medical Leave Act, provides job protected leave for qualifying health and family reasons. There are two laws, both a federal FMLA and a Connecticut FMLA, and both have been around for over 30 years. Now, while these laws provide job protected, protected leave, it does not provide any income replacement while the person is away from work. FMLA laws are implemented by employers and regulated by the state and federal departments of labor. Connecticut paid leave provides income replacement for qualifying health and family reasons, but it does not provide job protected leave. That's why it's extremely important that someone apply both to their employer for FMLA because that means that their job will be protected and they will be returned to their same job when their leave ends. And Connecticut paid leave will provide that income replacement while the person is away from work. The Connecticut Paid Leave Act is implemented by the Connecticut Paid Leave Authority, which is a quasi-public agency of the state of Connecticut. Foster care bonding is a qualifying reason both for job protected leave under Connecticut FMLA and income replacement under Connecticut paid leave. The time taken for bonding leave for foster care can apply both to pre-placement activities and to bonding time once the child is placed in the home. For pre-placement activities, the time can be taken continuously, intermittently, or on a reduced schedule basis. Bonding time once the child has been placed can be taken continuously and may only be taken intermittently or on a reduced schedule with the prior approval of the employer. There are up to 12 weeks of benefits available in a 12 month period and the leave must be taken within the 12 months of the child's placement in the home for foster care. Let's talk about applying for Connecticut paid leave benefits. To start a claim, you can either go to ctpaidleave.org and apply through our online portal, or apply telephonically by calling 877-499-8606. When a worker begins their application, they will select adoption or foster care placement slash bonding as their leave reason, and they'll then receive a notice with the required documentation. Here are the five steps from case creation to decision. 
First, the worker starts their application online or by calling. Secondly, the worker submits the required documentation, which fall into three buckets, identity verification, employment verification, and documents supporting the leave reason. For identity verification, workers most commonly submit a copy of the front and back of their license, although other forms of identity verification are acceptable. The employment verification form is a two-page form that the worker will provide to their employer to fill out and verify things such as their normal work schedule and any other income replacement they might be receiving while on leave. And the documents supporting the leave reason are specific to the reason the person has selected, in this case, bonding for foster care. The documents for foster care bonding include a bonding statement and a copy of the foster care papers or court documents that include both the child's date of birth and their date of placement. Once these documents have been received, the claims administrator reviews the documentation. Connecticut Paid Leave works with AFLAC to assist with claims administration. Fourth, the claim decision is made, and if it is approved, the benefits are issued directly to the worker, either through direct deposit into their bank account or through a prepaid debit card. This is an example of the Connecticut Paid Leave bonding statement. The applicant fills out their information and then would select foster child and uh, foster childs in both the bonding statement and the bonding documentation sections and would sign this document. Any questions about the Connecticut Paid Leave program can be directed to ctpaidleave.org. There's a contact us tab in which the individual can fill out their question and either request a phone call back or uh, email communication. We do have bilingual agents available. Any questions about a claim that has already been filed should be directed to Claims Administrator AFLAC by calling 877-499-8606 or by logging in through the Connecticut Paid Leave portal. Questions about Connecticut FMLA can be directed to the Connecticut Department of Labor and questions about federal FMLA can go to the Federal Department of Labor. Thank you, and we hope that this presentation provides useful information to assist foster care families.